Good day, everybody. I'm glad to see you come join us today. Please don't leave early. This is a very good information that I'm going to share with you, and I'm going to share with some facts using my drone and elevations. Please, if you like our content, if this is interesting to you, reach down and smash the like and subscribe. It will help our channel greatly, and it won't cost you anything. In this video, it's going to show that I flew up to the 23-foot elevation and stood there, which you passed, you saw it already, and I went on from that point and stopped again at the 178-foot elevation, which is the full pool area. So right now, this is basically sitting on top of the lake if it were full of water. And you can see a very clear outline there of where the 2022 water season started out. And I verified that using my drone. I went up to the 23 feet off the deck, which is roughly where we're at right now based on the Lake Mead water data. And I'll leave a link in the description to where I find that data if you're not aware of it. But at this point now, I'm staying at the 178 foot full pool area and I'm flying towards the Henderson, Nevada pump station. And I'll show you in the video here that the suctions are completely out of the water. Now, I don't know if this is their one that they've been using, depending on, and I don't know for fact that actually that's what this is, but I've seen a couple of other videos that reference it, and I know it goes over to a pump station that's on the other side of the mountain there. And uh, clearly they're out of the water, and um, see, I've seen people make mention about why don't they just extend the pipes. Well, with a suction type pipe, you're limited on how far you can suck up. It won't pull anymore. So in order to get the water to go up farther, they've got to put a different type pump set up on it. It'll have to have bowls and uh, the fan type, possibly even sections to make it go up that high. It's got to climb 178 feet. So um, it, it's really quite interesting. And now I'm pulling out away from it so you can get a better visual view down the lake of the bathtub ring and what poor condition the lake is in right now. Anyhow, I, I think it's just absolutely beautiful looking across the lake like this in the morning. I don't know how many more years of that we're going to get. It. You know, I'm, I'm hoping things are going to improve. And you're looking back there in this particular picture back towards where the launch ramps are where we were driving in. I didn't provide any pictures of that. I think I probably will towards the end. I'll show how far it is down in from the launch ramp. This one here is going to show you at 178 feet, which would be the full pool mark, looking down at my pickup, which would be at the bottom of the lake right now. And it's just unbelievably low. It's hard to fathom the lake is this far down. But I'm going to also include in here the March Google Earth image for March of 2022 where the water was in March. And it's um, way back up this valley. So like I was saying earlier in my other videos, for every foot the lake goes down, it's, it comes from way back in these valleys. And 23 feet put us way back in towards the ramp there that you're looking at right now, towards the launch ramp. And there was actually a pool of water people were swimming in back in March and April. And I'll also show you another image of Google Earth that shows the same time frame in March of 2021, one year previous. It's 
pretty unbelievable. Now I'm, I'm flying the drone over towards another pump station. The only thing I can think this pump station may have been would be for the marina that used to be over here. The marina used to be here on this launch area, so I'm told. I don't know that for fact, but anyhow, now it's six miles uh, southeast of here at Hemingway Harbor. And at this point now, I'm flying back towards my pickup, 23 feet off the ground, to show you how high the water level started at the beginning of this fiscal water year. It's crazy. It's crazy that it's gone down this far. And I, I know things have been, improvements have, have started to be made. And hopefully we can. At this point, I want to show you the beautiful lake out here. It's amazing. And now I'm going to take you now back onto the launch ramp area as we're driving down into the lake where we were parked. And keep in mind that this area we're driving by right now, a lady told us that they were in here swimming in it back in March or April of this year. And as I showed you in the Google Earth image, that that is probably the case. The water was back in there. Now, if, with the amount of water that we're going to be losing, and that has been lost already, just look how far the water had to go out to drop the 23 feet that we're at right now. It's, it's way back into all these valleys, all up and down the lake. So as it starts losing water now, you're going to see the lake go down even quicker unless people make some drastic adjustments because now we're narrowed down into a lot narrower body of water. So it's quite concerning to me. I, I'm hoping it is to all of you. If, if there's something different in the content you would like us to share, uh, please let us know. I'd be more than happy to drive back to Lake Mead again. I, I live four and a half hours away from there and it generally takes me two days time I go because if I want to use the drone I can't do it later in the day. It's got to be first thing in the morning or it gets too hot. My phone will overheat and the drone overheats so it has and also in the afternoons the winds blowing so it has to be in the morning early so it's a two-day deal for me to go do this. But I'm, it's my pleasure to share this content with everybody if you're interested in seeing it. I'm happy to continue making. So again, if you like our content, please reach down and mash the like and subscribe button. And thank you for getting to the end. We're out.